Tuesday the 26th of September um, and it's about about nine o'clock a little bit after nine o'clock um, and I've been awake for a little bit and I've just been doing some like morning knitting I have been knitting this morning on my swatch for the mystery knit long and I'm <laughs> The more swatches that I do, the more I feel like my original plan is just the best plan. My original colours are just the best colours. I've currently working, I am currently working on a swatch that does not have any, uh, any of the cream in it, or I guess this is kind of like a pure white, but any of the like creamy white in it, just to see if I could make like an autumnal like leaf pattern or like something similar. And this is what we're working with. Excuse my sniffing. I'm perpetually, <laughs> perpetually either on the beginning or end of a cold. Um, and I've done two versions of the fade, or I'm currently doing a second version of the fade in this one swatch. The first version has the like mustard yellow as the first colour, and then the second one has uh, this, yeah, this colour as the. Um, first colour. I'm gonna just make sure that the colour, the lighting is okay because I think that did not look accurate. Okay. Okay. We're back. <laughs> we're back, we're back, we're back. This is the swatch I've been working on. Uh, yeah, the bottom is mustard and this colour is is whatever that colour is. Um, I don't know what to call it. It's kind of like a brownie orange. Uh, so I start. I cast this on last night and started like knitting the first bottom bit of it. I just wondered if I could have like a fade or like a gradient that didn't have the cream in it to see because I love all the other colours that I have. Um, and then I was also looking on I watched the like MCAL kits video and took some screenshots of fades that were in the kits that I thought I could make kind of copies of with what I have um, and some of them had a cream start and some of them didn't have a cream start. Um, there's a massive spider climbing up my window. Hello friend. <laughs> it's so big. Um, wow. I have a little like vent at the top of my window so we sometimes get like animals, animals, insects, bugs coming in and I don't mind it so much. I just sure, let them live their little lives. Um, yeah, there we go. I've just finished four rows so I'm ready to go in with the brown. But basically I think I'm finding all of these oranges all together a bit overwhelming and I'm also not 100% sure if it actually I guess it is kind of a fake it is, or like a gradient because it's going from light to dark but I just don't think it's starting light enough another option that has uh, entered the chat is this here which is a skein of Life in the Long Grass singles in the colour mustard which one of my friends sent me for my birthday um, and this friend lives in Amsterdam and they sent sorry for any crinkling um, and they got this yarn from Stephen and Penelope Stephen and Penelope uh, and sent it to me which is lovely um, and I was very excited to receive this so I feel like it's maybe I'm torn because it's such I feel like it's such a special skein of yarn but it is very close like it's a single superwash merino base which is the same as this um so it would work fine like it's not I don't have to knit with all the same like brand of yarn I haven't done that mm, I did that in the first year but I, I didn't do it last year um but it just seems so precious that I'm like, do I want to like waste it on an MCAL? But I do think it might be, I might swap it. this colour in my, can I hold four balls of yarn at once? 
So this, my original OG colorway, uh, which for those of you who have not watched my little introduction video, which, you know, why not? Go and watch the little introduction video uh, where I talk even in more depth about, <laughs> about colors, um, which swatched up like this, which I just, I think it's very pretty. It's kind of like an autumn rainbow. Um, I'm wondering about swapping this out for this to just maybe get like less of a harsh color change. And then I do think that I'm going to order the ivory. I just think that the color scheme needs a cream, not a bright white. But is that over the top? Yes, it is. Yes, it is over the top. Do I care? A little bit. <laughs> uh, I've been sorting through my yarn. Oh my goodness. I've been sorting through my yarn in the past few days because because moths uh, and I'm not going to go into too much detail about the moths but I do I do have a moth related incident that has now turned into a moth related project I'm being very vague but basically I've got some knitting to do uh, because of some moths and I will share more about this later um, which we'll talk about but moths in general they're annoying we hate them but I mean they can live their lives just live it away from my yarn stash uh, so I've been going through all of my yarn to like put in moth little sachets and uh, see which ones have been infected and which ones haven't and like wash them and whatever whatever um, and through that have like come up have de-stashed basically um, I've got a lot of yarn that I just I'm just holding on to and it's from a past life and Karen Jessica would not wear those colours. Um, so I did a bit of frogging, a bit of pack parceling up yarns that I'm not going to use um, and it felt good. I feel like I'm making making space in my... it's also nice to not be like burst... like I have a big plastic box that I keep all my yarn in and it's nice for that not to be like bursting at the seams and not having like oh but then there's also some spare yarn in this tote bag and then there's also some spare yarn in this basket and um, all of my spare yarn is in the box and everything that's out is a project although there is one project that I'm thinking that I might frog and donate um, but there's a charity shop really close to where I live where they accept yarn so actually I might, I might do that next I might do that next in my day take the yarn to the charity shop um, yeah, and I've bought a lot of yarn there, so I like to, I like to give back. And also there's not many charity shops that like, uh, I think most will accept yarn, but this one, like, it has a whole, like, set, there's a whole corner of the charity shop that's like for sewing and like knitting and crafts and like that sort of thing. And so I like to give it somewhere where I know that they like appreciate what it is. Cause some of this is like, you know, it's nice yarn. Uh, and I'm not in the business of like, I don't want to de-stash, I don't want to get any money for it. Um, and I don't want to, I can't be bothered posting it all out, so apologies anyone who's hoping to get their hands on some of my de-stash yarn. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be taking that to, that to them. How is this related? Moths? I'm making space? I don't know. I'm going to get the ivory on. I'm going to get the ivory on, guys, because I've got the space for it now. Um... <laughs> I don't, honestly don't know how that was related. Um, what can we do? So yeah, this is a potential, this is a potential situation. Have I overwhelmed myself with this amount of choice? TBD. But uh, yeah, this is what we're looking at. And I'm going to stop filming now because this is a vlog, not a podcast. So you don't want to stay here forever. Um, yeah, today on the agenda is... Um, I've got a little bit of like online training to do for one of my jobs so I have to do that I've been putting it off for ages because online training is super boring uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do at least one of those modules today I'm telling myself it's gonna happen um, and then I'm gonna go down to the charge shop I might go down to the charge shop first we'll see how we go um, I also need to go out and get some food because I've not got really much in the house at all um and then later in the day I'm going to help 
help a friend with some moving and then in the evening I have I'm doing this like a still class at the moment which is uh, like a vocal approach a vocal I don't think there's it's not it's not a method it's like or maybe it is a method I don't know it's not it's like a I don't know it's about it's learning about your voice um, and it's about like very like physiologically based which is not my like easiest thing to learn about um I like yeah was not a great not great at biology at school but I'm enjoying learning about it it's quite a lot of information it's like a three hour class every evening every evening every week um but it's usually material that's like delivered like in a three-day course or in a four-day course or something so I'm grateful that this is like spread out because I feel like I need the whole week to take in all the information um yeah I've got a project that is like on the stockinette part at the moment uh maybe I'll show you that I've got so much to show you because I've not been vlogging and podcasting um yeah and so I've got that to be working on while I'm watching the Zoom. I love to have a little stockinette project on the go, uh, especially in a three hour Zoom class. So, I am gonna go and do those things and I'll see you later. And I'm gonna put this all down. <laughs> so much, so much autumnal yarn, uh, which one, one of these is connected to my needles. It's the red one. morning it is the first day of October it's Sunday um, and it's the first official day of vlogtober um, and only six days until the mystery knit along starts which you know is the real reason why we're doing this um, I have some like knitting projects that I wanted to talk to you about today um, but it's actually a really beautiful day outside so I think I'm gonna go on a little walk uh, I might go to small charity shop bookshops. I've got a book that I'm reading at the moment that I'd like to finish So I might go to a coffee shop and see if I can finish that or just sit in the park uh, It's kind of to enjoy like the last few days last few days. I don't know like As the temperature is getting colder. It's nice to make use of the time where sitting outside doesn't require like a million layers um, So yeah, I'm gonna do that and I think I'll show you some pictures show you some video of where I go on my walk it's the same walk that I've been doing for like the last three years so I feel, I don't know, either it's interesting or not like comforting to see the same place over and over again. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you the book that I'm reading because it's, it's relevant slash interesting. So I'm reading this book which is called Handy Woman and it's by Kate, yeah just Kate not Katie, Katie Davies, uh, who is a knitwear designer um, and this is her memoir slash like it feel it reads like a collection of essays 
Uh, and there's like connections between them all and like they do move on from each other, but she kind of says at the beginning, like, you can read them in any order. Uh, like here's one to read if you're interested in this, here's one to read if you're interested in this sort of thing. Um, and I'm on the last chapter, last two chapters before like the kind of, what's it called? Conclusion. <laughs> um, yeah, she uh, had a stroke when she was, I think like 36. Um, and so this is her talking about like recovery and like the ableism that she encountered during her recovery um, and many, many, many other things. Um, and a lot about knitting, which I'm really enjoying. Um, I struggle with finishing books. I often like get to, this is like the last like 50 pages and then just like put it down. So I'm really, I'm gonna finish this today. We're gonna get to the end of this book today. Uh, yeah, that's what's gonna happen. We're gonna go on a little walk. I'm almost kind of hungry. I love October. I'm just rambling, just rambling. So I'll do those things. the situation. I've got this project. You've seen it before. I told you it was finished. It was almost finished. It just needed buttons. But then I put it away and it got eaten. Now it wasn't it did need buttons, but it also needed some other fixes made. It's for my dad and he tried it on and it was like a little bit short. We're a tall family. At that point, I was a little bit done with the jumper. So I was like, this needs to go away and have a little rest. I put it in a plastic bag, in a plastic bag, in a basket away in the cupboard over there. And I took it out because I was like, oh, I'm finally feeling, I'm feeling ready to fix this and I took it out and it was, it's been eaten. I'm gonna take it out of the plastic so that that stops rattling around better. So since I discovered the moth situation, this has had three baths and had a stint in the freezer. So I'm pretty sure there's no, no live moths still in this jumper, but you know what? You never know. They seem ridiculously determined, especially the ones in my flat. Um, so the damage is, could be worse, but it's not gonna be like the easiest to fix. Actually, this part, which is the biggest, is potentially the easiest fix. And actually, this was the bit that I needed to re-knit anyway. So I was a bit dreading it because this is a tubular bind off and I was like, oh, I don't wanna to have to undo a tubular bind off, blah, 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 blah. But you know what, the moths, <laughs> the moths have started it for me. Uh, sorry, I'm just giving a spit, a bit more light there. Um, yeah, so this was a tubular bind off and I was really not looking forward to, to undoing it. So it's gonna be a bit of a faff to undo, um, which is why I wanted to film this clip because I'm watching I'm watching the Encounters show on Netflix. I might watch something else, but that's what we're starting with. And I wanted to get cracking on like getting this back on the needles. So that's the biggest bit. But then there's also, what's on going on on this sleeve? There's just a tiny bit here, which I think will probably be like a darning job on this sleeve. That's actually it, which is pretty good. The other sleeve, however, there is this quite large section, which I guess could be a darning job actually now I'm looking at it. I was thinking it was a re-knit, a pull back and re-knit because it's only this high up the sleeve. But actually, and then there's this little bit here. Uh, and annoyingly also a bit quite close to the top, which is definitely not a pull back and re-knit. That's quite large, but I will. I'll attempt to darn it. 
So, um, it's frustrating, but I'm feeling the fix it energy today and I'm very grateful that there are, as far as I can tell, no major holes on like the body of the jumper. So, that's the plan. Also, the good news is that I had loads of leftover yarn because this yarn was like, you got a discount if you bought it in packs of 10. So I bought like two packs of 10, I think. Um, and these have also had a stint in the freezer, which is why they're in this plastic bag, uh, because I wasn't sure if they'd been affected. I think they were in a separate bag, but at the bottom of the plastic bag, there's one singular dead moth. So I'm glad that that got, got attacked by the freezer. Um, and then I now also have some like more severe anti-moth stuff. I'd been using just like cedar blocks and um, they're just behind you. And other like natural remedies. Um, but we now have, it's just other random stuff, uh, like moth killer vibe, moth packets more moth killer um they're just it's little like sachets these ones are hangers but these are like little plastic boxes and you like rip the top off and then they're good for like three months um those are my headphones. so some unraveling to be done today unfortunately and some re-knitting i've picked out these needles which are some higher higher sharps fixed like 3.75 millimeter um, and they are not, I think I knit this on a four millimeter. I'm gonna have to go digging through the archives to figure out what to keep knitting on. Um, but I thought these would be fine just for like picking up a row of stitches um, so that I can pull back and feel safe about it. So I'm gonna do that now. Um, also in that basket, was this which I'd been meaning to talk about so I'm going to talk about that very very briefly and then I'm going to get back to my TVT TV T and knitting time um so this if you're a long time watcher of the pod you will know about this yarn <laughs> that has been like a million bazillion different projects. Also shout out to this bag that I got from the Edinburgh Yarn Festival, not Edinburgh Yarn Festival, the new, the Scottish Yarn Festival, previously known as the Perth Yarn Festival or something like that. Um, last year from a company I can't remember, but I'll stick them down below because I love this bag. Um, it's the red alpaca that, this is what it, so it was originally a raglan jump uh, from the Ready Set Raglan book. I think originally it was something else before that, but I think re-podcast, that was the first thing it was. Then it became this like brioche cardigan. I think it was called like the Sarah brioche cardigan. Um, it was actually fisherman's rib, half, fish half fisherman's rib rather than brioche, but I can't remember it. And that was really fun to make, but it was big and it kind of hung in a weird way heavy and drapey and I hate it I never wore it um and then over Christmas I made this like green fluffy cardigan that was by again a designer that I can't remember but I'll stick it down below and I really loved that cardigan but I'd had to make it quite small because I was only working with like 200 grams of yarn to make that like cropped cardigan oh here's some needles <laughs> um so then I started making that in this yarn thinking maybe that's what it needs to be and I just think that I'm potentially at a point with it where I don't think it's the pattern I think it might be the yarn that I just don't like and that's okay um I've recently done a big yarn sort through because of the moth situation um and given a lot away to one of my local charity shops uh and they like so there's someone there who's like really into knitting and she like sorts through it all and like it's a good place to give yarn. Um, and I think, and that felt really, it felt really good, it felt really freeing. I was like, okay, I don't have any pressure to make stuff with this yarn because it's out of my house, it's gone. I don't like it. I don't need to make anything with it, um, Bye bye And I think that this might be the same situation with this. It's such a shame because it's a lovely color and it's very soft, but I just don't. 
it's not, it's the weight and it's the drape and it's not, not for me. So I think I'm gonna unravel this and unravel this. I've been slowly unraveling from this to like get the yarn to make this. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna donate the yarn. That's a decision. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I think also it's helped by the fact that I currently have another red jumper on the needles, which I'm not gonna show you right now because I wanna talk about that properly. So hold for that. Uh, and I will see you on the other side of what's gonna be lots of unraveling. Goodbye. morning it's 8 18 <laughs> on Thursday the 5th Thursday the 5th of October uh I've woken up and had a shower <laughs> my hair did not wash my hair so it's a little bit crazy um and so far no sign of the first clue I looked on like a little message forum board that was like oh it usually comes out maybe like 10 o'clock Amsterdam time so That'll be like nine o'clock our time. So I thought I just have time to like wrap up this episode, send it out. Little cliffhanger. What's the clue gonna be? So uh, I just wanted to show the things I was talking about. Also, <laughs> this was I drank some water too enthusiastically, and I think this was my hair, but it's just water. <laughs> uh, I'm wearing this is a dress. I thought it was the appropriate color based on what my color palette is. Um, I just wanted to show you the unraveling that I did because it took hours. Oh my goodness, it took so long. The The red one took a long time and then unpicking the yellow jumper. I don't know what happened. Like I unpicked the tubular bind off and then just tried to like rip and it just wasn't having it. I wonder if I was maybe going the wrong direction because it had that little like hole section. So I maybe should have been going this way and I was trying to go that way, but in the end, I just put the, sti put the needle in where I wanted the to pick up the stitches, snipped the row below and like pulled it out, like as if you were doing a, um, like an afterthought heel. So, and then the section that <laughs> was left, I just threw in the bin. Usually, if I have scraps or ends or whatever, I try and preserve it and like I put it in a little bag for like using for stuffing or something because I don't know, I don't want to throw it away. But this was like, it's had moths. It's just gonna be loads of little bits of string and it's did my head in, so I was like, I'm gonna get rid of it. Um, but that being said, we have now reattached. Sorry for the camera just got blowing out there. Um, we have reattached and I've knit a few rows, so. It's all, ugh, I am the color of the MCAL. I'm the, more in my colors of the MCAL. Um, yeah, so that's how much I've done since picking it back up from that stitch marker up. So not loads, but they're quite long rows. So I'm just gonna have that on hand as a stockinette project, just a little something to do. So that's one thing to show you. Also, <laughs> that actually reminds me that I do the third thing to show you because since last time I talked to you and now I've cast on a sock and I'm on the heel of a sock. All oh, knitting all the time, what can I say? Uh, the other thing is just the red yarn. This is how much it was. And uh, it's going straight to the charity shop. I'll probably drop it off today. So uh, let me get the other things. So 
This is my basket of random stuff. Random knitting related stuff. Um, first of all, empty moth pouch. Crucial, crucial, crucial. Just hanging off the side there. Um, then this is my project pad. I remembered who it's by. I think it's called Midwinter Yarns. Um, I'll still try and. It literally says it on the tag. <laughs> literally says it on the tag. Uh, it is min with winter yarns and this is a little pin I got for Christmas last year. Um, and in here is my a sock that I'm making out of the leftovers from last year's Mystery Knit Along um, and I'm doing it to join in with the end of the third well, I was gonna say Vlogtober cow, that's not what it's called, Socktober Knit Along. Um, if you want to join that, you have to be in the M to the Third Discord channel. So I'll link to Mackenzie's video instead of to the Discord because I feel like I don't want to like I don't know. Is it weird to link to someone else's Discord? But if you go to one of her videos and look in the link, it's there. Um, so I'm knitting a Dre Renee Knits Everyday Sock. So it's toe up and. Usually this bit is like ribbing, but instead of ribbing, I've substituted it for this like, kind of, so when it's on my foot, it'll be a bit more stretched and like that. This, um, you know, color work pattern, which I'm really enjoying. I kind of stole it off of a, um, I basically searched on Ravelry color work socks that use three colors, um, because I have, you can't see in there, I have, three colours left over from last year's show. Um, and a, pa a sock that had this pattern came up and it's a sock from the 52 Weeks of Sock book by Lana Magazine, I think. Um, I'll link to that pattern as well because obviously I'm stealing the concept but I did not buy that pattern because uh, you have to buy the whole book, <laughs> which I mean it's a beautiful book. but. I don't need it so uh, I just kind of roughly copied the pattern I uh, took inspiration from the pattern and now I'm at the bit where you like do the heels so I've just gone back to using the navy um, and I'm really happy with it it's potentially gonna be my favorite sock that I don't want to spring too soon but I really like it and one thing I'm working on with this sock is that I think in the past I've made my socks too long and I saw something recently that said that you should actually make your socks like quite a bit shorter than actually what you want them to be because they stretch out this way when you start wearing them because they go like back and forth across your foot. I don't know if there's much truth to that but I'm trying to make this like tight because I think that's why I don't like a lot of my knitted socks is because they're loose and don't feel like secure on my foot so here's hoping. Um, so that's what I'm making so that's probably what I'll knit on while I'm waiting for the blue to come out. Um, and then what else is in here is a bunch of like spare needles and <laughs> uh, scissors and hand cream and other stuff, but also all of my colors for the mystery net along. Uh, now those of you that are two minutes long will know that you only need four bottles of yarn. And uh, here I have eight. Wait, do I have eight? Yes. I have eight. Uh, I've not fully decided on what I'm doing. I did buy the ivory yarn. That's really blown out for me. Uh, slightly better compared to the white, so it's a lot more yellow. So I think this will be a good starting point. And then I also wound up the life in the long grass. So I'm thinking maybe this one. <laughs> this one, then this one then the original plan was to do I don't know I've done this backwards this one then this one um but then also I'd consider swapping out this for this I also had the last minute thought of adding like a green but of like a green that I already have but it's quite variegated and it's also like a totally different base so I don't know if I want to do that but I've decided that I'm gonna let myself freestyle a bit. I'm gonna see what the clue is and then make a decision. So 
being treating it like a little little color palette <laughs> to choose from a little painter's palette um yeah i think you've seen all of these in some like b-roll but these are just this this swatches that i made before that one i made it a little smaller because i was sick of doing swatches at that point and this other one which i really like the back of so fun um so yeah I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here and I'm gonna go and eat some breakfast and make my bed and do some like chores and then I've mostly cleared my day so that I could be focusing on the show but um I do have coffee with a friend but I'm hoping that by that point I'll have like cast on and I'll be able to take it with me if not I'll take my little sock with me so that's it and I will see you all in the next episode bye hope you're having a good October